today. From Paul Brown Stadium in Cincinnati, this is Madden Football on EA Sports. From the banks of the Ohio River, there's a look at Paul Brown Stadium here in Cincinnati, Ohio. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Cincinnati Bengals. Evan McPherson about ready to get this going as we are underway now from Paul Brown Stadium. Now Jamal Agnew from his end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. For the first time, the Jacksonville Jaguars set to go here on offense, led out by the new face of the franchise, the number one overall pick, of course, from this year's draft. It's Trevor Lawrence out of Clemson. And for many people, there's a lot of pressure that comes with being the presumptive number one overall pick for two, if not three years now. But Trevor Lawrence has handled it well. The Jacksonville Jaguars excited to have him in town, to say the least, because they started guys like Gardner Minshew, Jake Luton, Mike Glennon just in the last season. But let's face it, they now have their franchise quarterback. Call it officially a loss of two on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. Sometimes being a linebacker in the middle of the field is kind of like being a doctor on the field. You got to make the right diagnosis. Here he correctly sets his run and shoots through to make the play in the backfield. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Lawrence with the handoff to Robinson. Takes this to the 27. Give him four yards. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Sets up the screen to Robinson, and he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. They'll wind up losing three here on the play, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. So Charles, first drive here, a little safe completion underneath, maybe get some rhythm, get your feet wet, so to speak. I agree, and I like it because it's a lot like a basketball game when you're getting started and you pass the ball around so everyone touches it early and gets involved in the game. In this case, it's not just dumping it to a back and he's able to run with the ball. But you get your offensive linemen involved because they get to get out and run and hit people in the open field. Everyone getting their feet wet early. Seven yards on the return after a punt of 39. And the Bengals will take over here first and 10. Time to see this Bengals offense here as they get set for their first drive. And under center, of course, is the number one pick in the 2020 draft now in year number two, Joe Burrow. And what a rookie season he had indeed. A knee injury knocked him out in week 11 at Washington. And while the Bengals only won two of his 10 starts, I think everyone around the league and anyone who watched the NFL came away impressed. 13 touchdowns, just five interceptions, nearly 270 yards a game passing, the third most by a rookie in NFL history. And he's going to take this across midfield into Jacksonville territory. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Thanks to receivers, they'll spread the defense out, and they were able to come through with a slashing run. But to that point, it's going to be interesting to see the personnel chess match as this one progresses. Yeah, you're exactly right. Can they continue to create running lanes out of passing sets? And if so, it's going to be a long day for the defense. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. Not enough there for a first. No gain, as a matter of fact. And it leaves them at third and one. Here we and go. I see an extra defensive back on the field. Little surprise here on third and one. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. And that is 
is incomplete. You absolutely have to have this early on, right? Third and short, they elect to throw for it. And that's normal NFL football. They're going to throw on third and short, but you've got to hit it, don't you? Yeah, in the first quarter, like you said, to set the tone, can't connect there. So on fourth down, on comes the left-footed punter, Kevin Huber, to punt it away. Jamal Agnew is deep to return it. And this will be out of bounds at the what here? The 12-yard line. So time to see Jacksonville again on offense for the second time here in this game. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Now Lawrence to throw. That complete over the middle. He's got man hurts the tight end. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. That coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end, let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? On play action, Lawrence. That caught by Manhurts. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. So for Trevor Lawrence, uh, listen, the hype, the buzz, whatever you want to call it, it just surrounds this guy. One of the most highly regarded draft picks of the last decade or two. What do you think defenses are going to throw at him here in his rookie season? Well, I think all the edge rushers can't wait to get a shot at him, especially his rookie year, because they want to see if he can handle the pressure when they come at him. But I think defensive coordinators, they know that he's well-schooled and he's very intelligent. They want that pressure on him. They'll throw those normal blitzes. They also want to throw combo coverages in the secondary to see if he can read them. My goodness, they've come out locked in on this drive. Play calling, execution, they are fully in sync. Three straight passes, three first downs. They're moving the ball downfield almost at will. This defense really struggling to find answers. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Lawrence's throw taken in by Chark. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger gain. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Working with second and five now. First carry for the Clemson man, Travis Etienne. And he takes it down to the 40 with a pickup of four. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That was a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. They'll run here with Robinson. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. The first drive this unit had, they punted. This drive much more polished, just looking crisper, aren't they, moving the ball? Maybe the first drive was a little bit of a wake-up call. Probably a little bit angry that they had to punt the ball away the first time they had it. Got motivated, got to the sideline, said, OK, let's not let that happen here as we take over again. now Lawrence on first down and he is going to go down he will be sacked on the final play of this first quarter we're scoreless after one
So after a rare misstep on this drive, they'll try to make amends on second and 15. Another try after the first down sack. Lawrence. Man open here is Joe. 